<laughs> it's a big, big carp I just caught. <laughs> Jeez. First one, chopper's jig, choked it. Hey everybody, it's Jay Ball, Blue Jays Outdoors, and out here again, flipping for some, I don't know, spawn or maybe post-spawn bass using the chopper's uh, 3 8 ounce football jig with a ridge tail chunk with the uh, green pumpkin dipped in pink to make it orange. So yeah, we just got one so far, that one big nasty carp. And yeah, so we're in a part of the bay that I haven't been yet this year. Only came back here a couple times last year. But yeah, we're just gonna flip the shoreline and see what we can find, so stay tuned. Oh. <laughs> what are the odds? Look at that, freaking bluegill or a sunfish on a chomper's jig, that's crazy. That was one there. Never mind. Oh, there he is. Awesome. <laughs> I think that's a small moth. Heck yeah. Looks like a nice one too. Ooh, who loves a good old Sammy? Awesome. Nope, head down. Keep your head down. That's a large mouth. <laughs> I swear, I'm like the only person that comes to Saginaw Bay and catches largemouth like this. <laughs> Man, that's pretty. Look at him down on the water. Man, that's pretty. Good old Sammy. There we go. Nice. Pretty fish, pretty, pretty fish. All right, let's let her go. Awesome.
another one on the trailer bait. Another one on the trailer brake. Nice one. Another one on the chair bait. They are wrecking this thing. Let me break down for you what I'm what I'm doing. So a lot of these fish I'm catching are post spawn. They're hanging on the edge of this grass, and I'm taking this Z-Man white chatter bait with the Pearl Menace white trailer dipped in pink, and I'm putting some of the lure lipstick JB cross sauce formula on the inside. And I'm just going along the edge of the shoreline here looking for the uh, grass that's kind of standing up, casting and reeling in between it. Probably see me kind of doing some funky things with my rod. So I'm flipping and pitching it, you know, whatever I got to do to get it in between that grass. And they're just absolutely wrecking this thing. It's kind of cool throwing this white chatterbait because you can actually see him hit it. Um, so yeah, we'll just keep going along this row and see if we can't pick up a few more. I'm basically flipping and pitching the shoreline with this chatterbait and picking up these bass. Man, look at how pretty that one is. Nice fish. Big northern. Check out that pike. Well, that is a tank there. Yeah, you there we go. One more look at her. Fatty Magoo. Whew, that was begging. All right, just got back to the house and what another really good day on the bay. I didn't really have my expectations up too high just because I know that Mark and I put a herding on him two days ago and I was able to pick a few up on the jig. I uh, did fish a new canal, not a new canal, but a canal I haven't fished this year and I talked to one of the locals and he said they just didn't come in and he was right. I think I maybe had two in there and then I uh, went back to the original canal to catch a few on the Chompers jig. I'll show you guys this jig again. So this is the Chompers jig. It's a 3 8 ounce football jig this is in that green pumpkin with a little bit of orange i use that rage tail chunk missing a claw but i use a green pumpkin rage tail chunk 
and I dip that in this Wiggly's pink dye, and this is what turns it orange. Um, so that's part of what I would have been catching them on the last two trips is the, uh, is the jig. But what I've been noticing that later in the morning, early afternoon, around noon, they've been more in a chase mode. So I think it's when the water warms up. So I've been throwing this white Z-Man chatterbait with that Pearl Menace trailer with the pink, again, dipped it in pink. And they have just been absolutely wrecking this thing. I've been casting it in between the grass, hopefully on a couple of the fish catches you guys kind of saw where I was pitching right up to right up to the shore. I mean, right in no water. There was sometimes I was actually casting on the shore, dragging it off. And they were just hitting a straight out of reaction bite, or I was weaving it in between the grass. And this is all new to me. I mean, I, I really struggle this time of year, kind of that uh, late spawn, post spawn, I really do struggle. But this year has been a really good learning year for me. So. The jig has been key. The Z-Man chatterbait's been key. I'm throwing both of these on a Boo Garcia combos. So this is my Black Max combo, seven foot medium heavy with a fast action tip, uh, 12 pound Seaguar fluorocarbon. This is with the Revo X4 reel. And then on my jig setup, this is the, I think it's the Vert Virtus or the Vertas. Yeah, it's a 2.0. Um, and this is with the uh, Aura SX reel. Um, 17 or 15 pound cigar fluorocarbon works really really well um, and those are really the two basic setups I did catch one bass you guys saw on Sammy top water lure which is always fun but uh, no smallmouth which hey you know uh, I'll get on the smallmouth eventually hopefully but really do appreciate you hanging out with me guys hopefully you guys have kind of learned some things that you can apply to your lakes as well um, so yeah thanks again for watching if you haven't already please subscribe to the channel make sure you hit the notification bell so you know anytime i post a new video for daily fishing shenanigan updates be sure to follow me on instagram that's blue underscore j underscore maple underscore syrup again thank you so much for your time and remember the easiest way to change your attitude is by showing gratitude thanks we'll catch you in the water next time